Hey yo, friendos! Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Now this episode, I accidentally did this entire thing without my mic on. So, um, I, yeah, I just had a big old dirt moment and I completely did not realize until I threw the video into the editor and saw the sound clip just be a straight line. I'm like, um... Where's all my voice clips? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be, uh, right now I'm narrating over watching the video with you guys. So yeah, this episode, uh, basically we cover the Mirage Tower, as you can see. We capture another Pokemon in here. Um, we cover Cycling Road. We go do a couple trainers in the 5th gym. And lots of off-screen training, so... <laughs> Yeah, be be prepared, guys. Be preparedy. So yeah, um, th in in the Mirage Tower here, you get your two fossils. Well, you got one fossil. You get to choose from two. Um, and right now, I'm going for the Pokemon that I capture in here, and it turns out to be a Trapinch, which I am really happy to see because Trapinch will really come in handy in case somebody dies. And um, just a spoiler: there are some tragedies in this. <laughs> video um, you, you'll probably tell with the uh, the name of the video <laughs> so yeah basically um, I decided to name him clamps in honor of the clamps from Futurama which got cancelled kind of that show was really good it got cancelled though and I was really sad to hear about that but uh, yeah, so we took all good old clamps over to the PC and now we continue our journey into the Mirage Tower. Um, so yeah, the, the two fossils in here basically you'll find is a, what's the one? It's called a um, root fossil and that contains a Lileap which turns into a Cradley which I'm not really a fan of, I've never been a fan of and I don't think anyone else is a fan of. So I went with, um, I, I actually, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get the, the root fossil just because, you know, I'm not a fan of it. And um, I decided to go with the claw fossil. And that contains a Anorith, I think it's called, which turns into an Armaldo, which is a cool Pokemon. But I, I'm going to ask you guys if it would be considered cheating. Um whether or not I used the fossil even though I caught a trap inch in there. I'm gonna ask you guys that. You tell me, comment below. Um, tell me if it would be cheating if I used it in case another Pokemon died. Um, in this episode I didn't actually put him in my party but I did go to Rustboro to get him um, get him turned into the Anorith and I just put him in my PC named him and all that shit. And I, I'll ask you guys whether or not it'd be cheating um, to have a free Pokemon, pretty much, you know. So there goes the root fossil, you know, just disintegrates into the sand. And not really depressed about it, because I'm not going to be getting the root fossil. So, you know, whatever. I got the, the claw one. I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know if I want to use it, though. So I'm, I think I'll just go do a quick heal here. And we are done. So now I think... Pretty much, what, what did I do here? <laughs> I don't even remember. I, well, here's here's my party. Everyone's either level 28 or level 29, so um, fairly decent levels here. So I think I go up here to do a little bit more training. Uh, off screen, of course, I cut it out probably around once I get to the desert. But um, there it goes. So yeah, here we are, cycling road. Um, not very many trainers on here. I was kind of depressed uh, about that because you see like fire red and like I think even normal red and blue. There were so many trainers on that cycling path. And I believe this cycling path only has like maybe five or six trainers. I'm not even too sure. Some of the people on there are just, you know, they'll, they'll just talk to you. They won't actually battle you, which kind of bugs me because it's, it's stupid and like they should battle you. And, um, so yeah, like, I, I was pretty depressed, and, like, the levels were lower than I expected. I guess I could have gone on the cycling path a long time ago. I just never did. <laughs> I probably should have 
uh, trained for the Mauville gym on Cycling Road because I did end up getting my bike, and I think my levels, the levels of my Pokemon would have been um, around the level that I needed to be kind of training for the gym. But it doesn't matter. Nobody died for that gym, and I'm um, just pretty happy about it. Somebody almost died, and then I was decided to have a big old dirt moment and not use Marsh Tomp for the entire <laughs> the entire battle because I was thinking it was just water type. And oh god, I thought he was gonna get creamed. And uh, so yeah, just a lot of boring battling here. This guy, I don't know why. This chick had uh, a level 6 Voltorb, and I believe this guy, he's got two level 6 Voltorbs. Like, I don't know what they're doing with their Pokemon and training and whatnot. So, I was kind of confused going on this cycling path, and really just sad because there's not very many trainers. And, um, god, this guy will. Like, I suck on the mock bike. At least on the computer. Like, jeez, like, I get stuck on everything, and it won't let me move over. <laughs> Did about 38 collisions there, and at least went through it in a little over a minute. And I was really just mad, like you'll find here, right right here. I was like, I want to get off this bike, because I was just so mad, like, <laughs> the bike was pissing me off. So, uh, yeah, I just start making my way down to Pedalburg, and I do another quick heal here. And so, yeah, we are we go on our way to Pedalburg to battle some... Uh, gym leader, or, uh, not gym leaders, gym trainers, and that's, I'll, no, I'm not gonna hint it, you guys will find out, uh, it, it was, it's a sad part over there, oh my god, it really just, like, oh, it pissed me off so much, and, um, oh yeah, I go over to Rustboro first, and, um, go get my Anorith, and so yeah, I'm just trying to freaking get my way through there with a super super repel because I was sick of getting all those wild low level wild encounters because I wasn't gonna battle them. What wouldn't have gotten uh, much experience from them. So and here we are at the Divin Corporation, and we're talking to the scientist down here at the bottom. You just go straight out the door straight down to the bottom guy here and he will be like holy shit you got a fossil so he turns it into whatever Pokemon you got whatever Pokemon fossil thing you got from whatever that was in English so I chose Anorith and I nicknamed, na uh, nicknamed him Chief in honor actually that's not in honor of anything it's just cuz he has those feathers sticking out of the side of him and I was like that kinda remind me of like some Native American tribal feather headband crap thing, you know? I don't know. I, it, was a, it was like the first thing that came to my head. And now I think we're on our way to Pedalburg to battle the gym trainers. Now I also found out, uh, after I ended last episode, um, you get Surf after beating this gym. Wally, after you beat this gym, Wally will come out and be like, hey, come to my house. And he'll give you Surf. And then I can actually go... I don't know if it would count, though. I'm kind of waiting until I get a Fishing Rod. Because I'm pretty sure I need the Fishing Rod for, like, the right side of Mauville. You know, that water basin there where there's a lot of Carvana? I really want a Carvana. So, because Sharpedo is one of, like, my favorite design-wise Pokemon. Because Sharks are my favorite animal. So, I just, I love Sharpedo. And it's actually a pretty damn good Pokemon too. It's pretty beefy, good with attack. Like it's also a Dark type and Water type. So Dark type being one of my favorite types and Water type being one of my favorite types. It's it's a good choice to me. So yeah, in here the fifth gym leader. We're just battling a couple trainers. Uh, a couple of these rooms are really, really just asshole trainers. Like. There's a defense room, I think, what's this one here? One hit, okay, yeah, with the one hit KO room I don't end up going through because, like, I was scared to go through it. So I had to go through the defense room here, and this is where I believe... No, no, this isn't where the trash is. <laughs> uh, I should stop hinting at it, but this thing is beefy as fuck. This fucking Wigglytuff, it's got double edge, look at that! 
almost killed Firehump. It was, it was, I was freaking out. Like, I was like, oh god, what do I do here? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I chose, I think I chose to send, yeah, I chose a Marsh Chomp, or Honeydew. I almost died. So I healed, I think, and then, yep. I healed him. And he luckily used Defense Curl, because I wanted to use my shot, and he keeps using Defense Curl, and I ended up killing it with a crit, which I was pretty happy about, because I did not want that double edge again. I learned my lesson after that, because that was pretty ouch. Like, that, that hurt a lot. <laughs> There's the one hit KO room again. I'm going to have to go through that one way or another. I don't end up going through it in this episode, and here is the asshole trainer with a Zangoose who has a slash attack that is just retarded because this is the strength room. The strength room, ridiculous. Like, one headbutt, half killed it. Look at that slash attack. Freaking killed, almost killed him. And then, bam! Heavy's dead. I was, oh my god, I was devastated. Like, Heavy is one of, like, he was one of my favorites to, um, to, he was one of my favorites to be, or not to be, to use, like, he is Lanoon. He's a good Pokemon, he's a beefy Pokemon, he, especially heavy, he had my Shockwave, now I don't have an Electric type, I don't know what to do about that, I just really don't, I was really depressed, that's why I'm pausing here for a really long time, I was just mad, I was like, oh, I'm ready to kill someone, so I threw out Marsh Tom. And he decided to go for the slash and almost kill Marsh Tomp. And I was. If I would have killed him here, I would have been less pissed. So I threw out. Uh, no idea here. One way or another. There we go. I threw out no idea here. He healed, which I should have just used the mud shot to get it back down. And the slash kills no idea. This thing is beefy as hell. This fucking Zangoose. Slash attack, just one hit, no idea, and my no I like my Golbat was pretty beefy himself. Like I'd say his defense was pretty damn good, his health was good, his attack was good. Now he's gone. I was hoping for a Crobat, but no, he's gone. You know, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> so I think I threw out um I, think I throw out Megatron? I don't remember. Um yeah, just this Zangoose needs to freaking go. It, I, I, I'm still mad about it. Like I'm looking at the two deaths there, I'm still mad about it. So I think I just bite it and get it to flinch. Finally, should have got it to flinch with my gold that's bite, but you know, fuck it. Uh, so I end up leaving here, and I go back to the uh, Pokemon Center. And I go take a look at some other Pokemon options now. I also ended up not releasing Linoon or Golbat. Just because I want to keep their memory. So I ended up storing them in box 2. Um, just so I could, you know, have them there still with me. I'm not going to use them. Don't worry, I'm not going to cheat. Um, I just want to have them there, you know, as memories and be like, these two are my coolest, or well, two of my coolest Pokemon that I have. Name the box dead, just so I can, you know, put whatever Pokemon I want to remember in there that is dead. The others I've released, but, you know, it was an, uh, I think only I've only had one death and it was an Ninkata. Now I have three. Two in one battle, that was ridiculous. So here I'm deciding what Pokemon to choose. I decide to choose, um... I think I throw in, I throw in Swablu, just because you know I wanted a dragon and I didn't have my flying type now thanks to Golbat, and um, so yeah I grab Draco here the Swablu, I'm trying to figure out where the party thing was because I was used to playing white where I think the party Pokemon thing is at the bottom of the screen instead of the top, so I was trying to find it, and then I realized holy shit I have a Machop. What am I doing with my life? Because now I have something to beat the fifth gym leader with, and completely forgot about it. I don't I, like I put Chief in there uh, just because I was like uh, I don't know if I want to use him, but I put him back just because I thought about uh, you guys. I probably think I'm cheating, or you know, just so. So again, comment down below uh, whether or not I can use Anorith 
it's up to you guys. I don't know if I really want to in the first place. <coughs> but you tell me. Um, but you guys tell me, like, if, if, it, if it's cheating. You guys tell me whether I can use it or not. So, I ended up throwing out Swablu because I went and looked at its moveset and it was just fucking terrible. Like, basically, no dragon moves, no flying moves. So, I was like, okay, screw this. I threw in Clamps because he's a dragon ground and Flygon is just an awesome Pokemon. And so yeah, here's uh, after training them a bit, I got Machop, he's still a level 22, and I got um, Clamps up to level 23. So yeah, this is the end of the video, guys, just kind of looking over some stats about him. He's got a pretty beefy attack on Machop. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry for forgetting uh, to record my mic during it and having me narrate over it. So please like this video, subscribe if you're new, and... Um, just check out all the previous videos of this playthrough, and thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.